In this lecture, let's learn how to style the currently active link in the navigation bar. So if I go to web page, here we have this navigation bar with these four links. So if I go to this about page, so we are in about page now, and this about link is the currently active link. So what we want is we want to style the currently active link. Let's say we want to set its background color. Let's see how to do that. Let's go to VS Code and let's first open the style.css file. And here I'm going to add a new CSS class and let's call this class active. And inside this class, I'm simply going to set the background color. Let's set it to gray. Now what I want is I want to apply this CSS class to active links. For that, let's go to appcomponent.html and here we are defining those links. So here what we can do is on this li element or on this anchor element, we can add a directive router link active. And to this, we can assign a CSS class. Here we want to assign this active CSS class to this directive. Now this is an attribute directive. So if you use it inside the square brackets like this, in that case, you will have to wrap this value within quotes. Okay, but if you're not using this router links active inside the square brackets, then you can simply assign a value to it. Now let's copy this line and let's add it on other li elements. Okay, so this router link active is a directive for adding or removing classes from an HTML element that is bound to router link. Using this directive, we can toggle CSS classes for active router links based on the current router state. And the main use case of this directive is to highlight which route is currently active. Okay, and here to this router link active, you can also assign multiple values. So currently we are assigning only one class, this active class, but if you want, you can assign multiple values to it. So if you have any other class, let's say class two, then you can assign it like this. Okay, so assigning multiple CSS classes to this router link active is also possible. All right, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that currently we are in about page. So this about link is the active link. And you will notice that its background color has changed to gray. Now, if I go to contact page, then in that case, this contact link will be the active link. So you can see that its background color has also changed to gray. And if I go to courses page, in that case, this courses link is the currently active link. So its background has changed to gray and same will be with this home page. Okay, so in this way, we can style the currently active link in the navigation bar using router link active directive. All right, now before wrapping up, let's see one more thing. So let's go back to VS code and let's go to app module where we are defining our routes. And here, let me comment this default route and let's uncomment this route. Okay, so here we have specified the path as empty string and the component as home component. So when the user will enter the root URL in the address bar, the view of the home component will be loaded. Okay, and let's also go back to this app component.html. And here I will change this router link path to empty string. Okay, so when the user will click on this home link, uh, we are, uh, you know, assigning the path as empty string. So for the empty string, it will load the view of home component. As you can see here, when the path is empty string, it will load the view of home component. Let's save the changes and let's go to the web page. And currently we are in home page. Let me click on this home link. So we are in home page. If I go to, if I click on this about link, now we are in about page. And you will notice that this home link is still showing the active link. Now, if I go to this contact page by clicking on this contact link. So now we are in contact link. So this contact link is the active link, but still this home link is still showing as active link. So why is that? So remember that when a child route is active, then all the parent routes are also marked as active. And this 
router link active directive will be applied to the parent URLs also, the parent routes also. So for this home link, the path is localhost colon 4200. And for this contact link, the path is localhost 4200 slash contact. So for this contact, for this path, this localhost 4200 is the parent. And this localhost 4200 is the path for home link. Right. So if I go to VS code, for this home link, the path is empty string. That means uh, localhost colon 4200, the root URL. So since this home link is parent to this contact link, that's why here both home and contact are styled as active link. Now, to avoid this problem, what we can do is we can specify another directive on this li element, which is router link active options. And to this, we can assign an object. And this object is going to have an exact property. And let's set it to true. And this will make the router link active directive to be applied only if the route URL matches exactly to the current URL. Okay, so with this, let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And here we have an error. So it says string is not assignable to type exact. So let's see what we have assigned. And let's actually wrap it, this directive within square brackets. Let's save the changes and let's go to the web page and let's see if it works now. Okay, so the error is gone. And now you will notice that now only the active link is styled. So currently we are in contact us page. So this contact link is the active link. So only that link is styled here. Now if I go to home page, then only the home link is styled. If I go to about page, then only about link is styled. Okay, so just keep in mind that when the child route is active, then all the parent routes are also marked as active and the router link active directive is applied to the URL tree cascading all the way to top. And to avoid this behavior, we can use this router link active options and to this, we can assign an object with this property exact assigned with value true.